Welcome to Hoffman Photography. My name is Rainer and in this video I'll explain why second curtain flash synchronization is tricky and why I believe that it's a bit overrated. Before we start, let me get something out of the way. For fast shutter speeds, it doesn't matter whether the flash synchronization is on the first or second curtain. It matters only for slow shutter speeds, let's say 1 15th of a second or longer. If you're not familiar with flash synchronization, here is a brief explanation. A focal plane shutter has two curtains. When the shutter opens, the first curtain moves out of the way, exposing the sensor to light. The duration for which the shutter remains open determines the length of the exposure. After the predetermined exposure time has elapsed, the second curtain follows the first curtain, closing the shutter. In first curtain sync mode, the flash fires at the beginning of the exposure, just after the first curtain fully opens and before the second curtain starts to close. The flash illuminates the subject at the start of the exposure, freezing motion at that moment in time. In second curtain sync mode, the flash fires just before the second curtain starts to close, at the end of the exposure. The flash freezes the motion at the end of the exposure. Many people seem to believe that second curtain sync is something very special, something mystical even. Whenever I show photos like these to people who have a good understanding of photography and I explain that the effect is due to a combination of slow shutter speeds and flash, the reaction almost inevitably is, oh, that's second curtain thing, right? No, it's probably not. And I'll explain later why not. So what's all the hype about second curtain sync? Let me show you some photos that are certainly not real-world examples. I took them for our book on photography basics and my thanks go to my nephew for being so patient. This is first curtain sync and that results in the light beams going forward. For the headlight this might be okay but it looks a bit weird for the tail light. The reason is of course that the flash fired as soon as the shutter opened while my nephew was entering the frame. This is what we want and to get this result we need second curtain sync. Now the light beams are trailing behind the bike. Easy, you may say, but here is the caveat. Most photos we took that evening looked like this. Some even looked like this. Not quite what we wanted. To get a good result you have to match the shutter speed to the speed of the cyclist so the flash doesn't fire too late or too early. It took us about 15 to 20 attempts to get two reasonably good photos. In the everyday life of a photographer, you seldom get the chance to, do, to redo something over and over again. Let's look at some more photos of a real dance event. If the flash was set to second curtain sync, the dancers might have already moved out of the frame before the flash fired. That would result just in blurry streaks with no sharp objects anywhere in the photo. Only with first curtain think can you ensure that the flash lights up something that is actually within the frame. And because of the long exposure time you also get to see the motion blur. With second curtain think you have almost no control over what's in the frame when the flash fires. And that's why I hardly ever use it. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.